Okay, is it gonna keep us all the way left? Yes, it is. And, oh my God, whoa! I'm really nervous about this BMW here because I don't know what he's doing, but okay, we're going this way. <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting that. Welcome back everybody to Tesla Driver. I hope you're doing very well. Today you join me in Swindon at 6 a.m. on a Sunday, and we're gonna be driving around and seeing what the car does at certain scenarios, and just how well is Autopilot or Full Self Drive Preview doing in 2020.28 dot six so i'm not actually i haven't got anywhere to navigate to we are literally going to put this on self-drive and allow the car to take us wherever it wants to go we'll attempt attempt some roundabouts if it's safe to do so and we'll do some obviously uh tighter corners and stuff that the car isn't able to do and we're just going to see how well it does no one's coming onto this roundabout so you can see here the car going straight over it onto the roundabout nicely it is taking us the correct way yeah, keeping us on the left here. Is it going to keep us all the way left? Yes, it is. And oh my God. Whoa, jeepers. <laughs> what? What just what just happened? I'm pretty sure this seagull was eating another bird back there. And then he just came straight out onto the road. I actually aborted it there. The car didn't abort that itself or anything. That was all me. But okay, well, that was weird. And again, that's something that the car needs to stop for seagulls there's another seagull over there on the road uh things on the road like that i'm intrigued to see how it deals with in the future here we go we're coming up to a roundabout so i'll slow it down basically every roundabout or tight corner we come to i will slow it down to give the car a better chance to go straight over it uh, and then we'll see i actually think this is going to go left here it is it is going left it wasn't a seagull it was it was it was um a child i think but i just couldn't see her from that far away so i thought she was a seagull Wow, that actually did that pretty well. So it took us off left. It followed that route. That was because obviously we saw the white lines were quite thick on the right hand side uh, and it clearly followed followed those lines. And you can see here, we could go over to the right hand side, but sadly, even if I indicate, it knows that we can, but it won't actually move over onto that lane for us, which is a shame. Let's also see, oh, we're coming up to a red light. Is the car gonna stop? No, the car is still not gonna stop. So we have to pull it out, off ourselves and stop the car. That was really interesting. What a start to uh, a video that I really wasn't actually expecting expecting to happen at all. So, okay, that was it. Let's see, will this actually show? So you can see these here, these are arrows. I wanna see, is this actually picking up these arrows still or is it not? Because sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Um, no, okay, so this time it's not actually picking up the arrows in the lights at all, which is, a, which is a shame, because sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I'm not sure when it does and when it doesn't. I'm not sure what it needs to see, but you could clearly see there that it didn't see any lines, any arrows in the lights themselves, and didn't portray them in the full self-drive. Again, across the roundabout here, there's no one coming on the right. It's actually closed anyway on the right there, uh, but it went across that really well. Going into this 20, this is quite a tight left turn, but the car should be able to do it without problems. And then here, merging onto this road as well. No, it aborted, look at that, it aborted. As soon as we went over that line, it just decided that it wasn't able to do it and it aborted itself for us. Okay, let's do a U-turn here and go back onto this road and see how it will deal with the rest of this. Uh, we've got some red lights actually so we'll just creep up to these red lights and then bring the car to a stop oh no all right we're good we got green no again look at that the car just aborted straight away which is is so strange i'm really not quite sure why it's aborting so quickly uh on some of these roads all right we're coming up to these red lights hopefully they'll change by the time we get there but it doesn't look like they're going to Aha, ours have, but his hasn't. Haha, <laughs> let's go. Okay, let's see then how the car is gonna take this. So this goes on to not a roundabout, but it kind of it kind of is a massive roundabout, I guess. Uh, but we have got some strange junctions and turning on and off here. So how's the car gonna handle it? It's going way too fast for that. Oh, it's bringing itself across. And then again, as soon as we go across a, a lane like that or a line, it aborts itself. I'm not actually driving, by the way. The car is still driving, even though it's aborted. Um, so I can prove that by keeping my hands up here and still accelerating and you can still see the car is still driving just not very well it's <laughs> just not as not as well as i do or not as well as it should do 
but yeah, as you can see, even though when it does abort, it still does drive. So don't worry if it like aborts and you, you don't get control straight away because the car technically is still in control for a little bit. But you can see so far, autopilot won't turn on down any of these roads. What if I get onto these lines here? This might be a little bit better for it. No, it's still not picking it up just yet. I wonder if it's, I wonder if it's actually because I aborted. Uh, I think it's probably because I aborted back there. It wants me to pull over and reset it. So sometimes if you abort while you're driving, it has, it basically wants you to reset the car. To do that, you put it in park, open the door, close the door, put it back into drive. And now in theory, <clears throat> it should autopilot again. There we go. And it does. So that, that is literally all you need to do for that. It's pretty simple. Oh, oh my God. No, that was, that was going to curb. Actually, that would have just gone straight into it. To be honest, I'm very surprised it didn't turn harder back there. But again, these are good rows to test it on because these have lots of obstacles around it. It needs to, you know, actually meander and move around things. And it, sometimes like that, it's doing it really nicely and pretty well. Oh, don't! Oh, it's so close to the car. Wow, it got so close to the car there on the right-hand side. I just wish it gave itself a little bit more space. And as we come to the end of this road, I'm not sure what it's going to do. So we're going to bring it down. Is it going to stop? Is it going to bring itself slowly down to a stop? Or... Uh, nope. <laughs> it just continues going. I, I don't have um, the balls either just to keep that going. <clears throat> and see what would happen so yeah that's uh, a little bit of a, a little bit of an interesting one okay back onto autopilot this is a really tight right hand turn here how's the car going to deal with it oh it didn't it aborted uh, luckily the lights changed there as soon as we went past uh, but you saw it aborted didn't like that corner at all and it uh, just it just wasn't going to do it basically it wasn't happy to do it so we've got these zebra crossings here. Is it going to pick up the zebra crossings at all as a traffic light? Not that I can see, so that's pretty good. It is picking up the red letterbox as a bin. Picking up some pylons and stuff. And again, I think it's using the bus stop from pretty early on here to actually keep us in this left-hand lane. Uh, it uses bus stop still really heavily to decide where it's going. So hopefully it won't do that again in the future. Uh, so here, for example, we actually could go in the bus lane uh, because it's not seven o'clock yet. So let's see what the car wants to do here. Is it going to follow that line or is it going to go straight on the bus? Oh, it's not sure. No, it's not going on the bus lane. I'm going to bring this right down here because it's going to abort. Yeah, there we go. It aborted just because you could tell that obviously the lines just disappeared there. Uh, and as the lines disappear, the car just just goes into a little bit of a panic mode. Uh, oh, big speed bumps. Ugh. The car again doesn't slow down for speed bumps just yet. And oh, we're back here, so we'll take a we'll take a left this time. So sadly, even though actually you shouldn't be able to because it's a bus lane, but you still can't cross uh, across onto another lane just yet. You used to be able to, but you can't at the moment. So it's things like this. So this, for example, uh, is just a really tight corner and. <laughs> you put autopilot on and the car just floors it. it. It just floors it at the corner. And I'm so surprised that it is still doing that. Um, actually, I'll bring this down a little bit. Bring it down to 25. Bring it down to 20. I'm not expecting it to do this because you do have to join onto a different road here. But again, let's push it and see what the car's going to do. There's no cars coming. No, you can see it was just going straight uh, and going straight across and just going to abort again. It's mainly because we have to have so many interventions, uh, I think is the bit the biggest issue. Just because you do have to intervent to, to change lanes, to move road, to, you know, do, to do pretty much everything, you have to interfere. Uh, and I think that, especially in town, makes a, it makes it really noticeable that you have to touch loads and do loads of things. Oh, braking very hard there, unexpectedly. Where are we going? Jesus, car. That was quite clear, in my opinion. But the car really, really struggled with it. I'm really nervous about this BMW here because I don't know what he's doing. But okay, we're going this way. <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting that at all. Wow, that was unexpected. The car just turned off of a road. 
and has, has brought me down down this area. This is pretty cool though. Um, but yeah, that was unexpected. And I've got to say a little bit scary because, well, I didn't expect it. So that was a little bit scary. Let's get back onto that road. I don't even know how we get back onto that road. I'm assuming it's this way somewhere. I'm not sure. Let's autopilot down this bit though, why not? But yeah, that shows something that I've I've actually never had that happen to me before. I've never had the, the car <clears throat> completely pull me off of a main road to go down a side road. Um, yeah, that was that was really bizarre and, and I, don't, I didn't like that at all. So down this road, no real problems, as we can obviously see. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Again, as we come to the end of the road here, it's not gonna turn left, it's not gonna turn right for us, so we have to do it ourselves. Back onto some main roads now, and hopefully stuff like that won't happen. We've had some weird things happen in town, but that's what happens in, well, in Swindon, but in any town, mainly in Swindon, is some weird stuff can go down, some weird stuff can happen, and the car's got to learn and got to know how to react to it properly as, as a human would react to it. So here again, going a little bit too fast for my liking. It's definitely not gonna do this. Oh, it is braking, it's braking, it's braking. It did do it, okay, I take back that statement. What's it gonna do here? Onto the roundabout. No, you see that, again, it was trying to take us down this road, which would have been fine. However, it was just getting too close to that curb and it definitely would have curbed us. Oh my God, where are you going, car? There we go, let's stay over here. Sometimes it almost needs like just a little bit of a jab just to go, oh, like a really, tightly turn it for just a split second because it seems to be so timid uh, at taking turnings. I want it to like go, whoa, whoa. Like if it's getting really close to something, I would rather it swerve out a little bit further when there's no one around, of course, and make sure it knows that I know that it knows, if that makes sense. So here again, we might have some issues with the cars on the left. I'm expecting some potential slamming on here, but it is going around them. It, it's doing all right. There is actually a very faint line past them. So maybe that's why that wasn't too much of a struggle. We've got a bird. Oh my God. So again, the car not stopping for a bird there on the road. And here we go. So this is on to two little roundabouts. There's the first roundabout complete. And then the second one here, you can see cars coming onto it. However, it did get onto that first roundabout without complaint, which is quite cool to see. And we are back on. Now, hopefully, we actually won't have to disengage or do anything to autopilot for quite a while here. Whoa, okay, going over onto the second lane. Went a little bit wide, but we're back. And now this is kind of dual carriageway for a little while. So I would be intrigued to see if the car pulls us off it at all. But I am, I'm expecting the car just to, to kind of keep us going here. It may do the roundabouts because they're quite straight looking. Is it going to? Yes, it did. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit skew if, but it did do it. And we can up this now to 50 on the dual carriageway. So again, we are on um, a, a dual carriageway here. You can see that there's definitely a central uh, boundary in that like a little, oh, actually I just hit that on my own, my bad, on that little ridge. But sadly, like I've said previously, you just can't go onto the other lane as of yet. But apparently there's roadworks on this lane and I actually want the car to come against some roadworks. That sounded weird. Uh, all right, let's see what the car's gonna do here. So we have got some cones. Is it gonna force us across? No, it's not. It's just reading the cones nicely and just, just following them without any issues, without any drama. And I'm actually gonna pull up to this car and see if the car will stop completely on autopilot for us, uh, which it has done. All right, let's go. So accelerating off again. How's it gonna do this? No, it just aborted straight away. Yeah, as soon as, again, as soon as we got onto, uh, onto this roundabout, it just, it just aborted straight away, which is a shame. Uh, all right, we're going this way because that road is closed. 50. Oh, that's the Honda E. They actually have a Honda E here. If you'd like to see videos on a Honda E, let me know because I would, I really want to go and test drive one of those. I'd love to make a video on it. Man, the, the, the clouds have gone really gray all of a sudden and we're starting to get a little bit of rain dropping. So I'm expecting some bad weather to come up soon. Okay, let's see how it handles this roundabout then, which actually is turned off. So there's no, there's no traffic lights on, which is great. 
uh, allows the flow of a roundabout a lot better. And is there anyone coming? Yes, there is. There's a huge lorry coming. And it's actually annoying because they put those big black barriers. If you just reverse, uh, rewind the video 10 seconds, there's huge black barriers that basically don't allow you to see. So what they force you to do is slow right down and come to a stop before you enter the, the roundabout. But that's actually gonna be, especially if they turn the lights off, I find that really bad because you can't quite see what is coming next and it just restricts your vision. So I'm always surprised that they do that. Okay, let's uh, let's put on a sat nav then and I'm intrigued to see if this, this road here works as navigate on autopilot or does it not? No, it doesn't look like it does. Uh, we're not getting any options here for navigate on autopilot to turn on. I think that's mainly because there's actually no like on or off exits on this. It is just a dual carriageway all the way to the end. But again, I'm really annoyed because you can't indicate and go to the other side of the road. Still a shame.